All right, in this example, we're going to look at how to solve a trig equation on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. Here we have 4 sine squared theta equal to 1. Uh, there's a couple of ways we can solve this. We can either isolate the sine squared theta and then take the square root of both sides, or we can move the 1 over, set it equal to 0, and solve by factoring. So let's see, I think what I would like to do instead, I think I'm going to isolate sine squared theta. So let's divide both sides by 4. And that's going to give me sine squared theta equals 1 fourth. And then if I take the square root of both sides to get rid of the squared, that's going to give me sine theta equals... Now the square root of 1 fourth, if I square root the top and the bottom separately, that's going to give me 1 half. And don't forget that when I square root both sides, I do get a plus and a minus answer. So what I can do now is I can go to the unit circle, and I can find all of the y coordinates that are either positive half or negative half. And those will be my angles for theta. So we're going to pull up our handy dandy unit circle. And we're going to see that we have a y coordinate of a half, positive half, at pi over 6. And 5 pi over 6. And then negative a half at 7 pi over 6. And 11 pi over 6. So that's going to be pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, and 11 pi over 6. Pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, and 11 pi over 6. And those should be the solutions of the equations. And now as a bonus, what we're going to do is we're going to take and solve this for... Uh, theta using Desmos and check our solutions. So what we want to do to uh, use Desmos is we actually want to come back up here to the original equation and move the 1 over and that's going to make an equation that says y equals 4 sine squared theta minus 1. And we're going to go to Desmos and graph that. So we're going to have y equals 4 sine squared x minus 1. And remember we're looking for values from 0 to 2 pi. So what we want to do is we want to go and restrict the domain from 0 to 2 pi. And so looking at this graph here, we can see that there are four x-intercepts at pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, and 11 pi over 6. And that does verify our results. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them in the comments below. And thanks for watching.